Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to work with Git using Business Application Studio. The video is going to be longer, so we're going to do it in two parts. In the part one, we're going to see how to set up our project and then how to connect to our Git repository and move the code which you have in your Business Application Studio to the GitHub. In the part two, we are going to learn if you want your fellow developers would like to fetch the information or start working on the same project. How do you do that in the business application studio? So with that, let's get started before we start a quick uh, housekeeping. So if you are interested of end to end UI5 and Fury development training on SAP cloud platform with business application studio, feel free to subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com. So with that, let's get started. I will switch over to the system and I have already a Git repository running in. So let me create a new Git repository on GitHub account. You can create a free GitHub account and you can start with a new free public Git repository. So let me create new. And now I'm going to give the repository name. So let's give the repository name as my bash project and say Anubhav's bash project so you can only create right now public repository on public github not the private one because private one is mainly for enterprise so with that let's move on now and now i'm going to just also add a readme file uh, you can skip that also and you can just say create a new repository so once the repository is created you can see the steps here the git commands which you can use to connect this repository and move the code which is in your bass to the github account so let me switch over to my business application studio and i need to get started with a fresh project so what i've done here is i have created a human template with which which you can scaffold your project and if you've not seen my video on human and project templating please check the description of this video where i have already explained that more in details so I have already a human template called Anubhav Basic Fiori. This is the one. So we will be using that in the BAS to generate our basic skeleton of the project. So I'm going to switch over to the system and launch a new terminal. And on this terminal, we're going to say git uh, npm install generator Anubhav Fiori Basic. I guess that's the name. Yeah, basic fury. So this is mainly to scaffold a project which is already having some demo data. And this is a good start for us to create a new project without really starting a, a, something from a template. So now uh, the scaffolding is done. So now the module is in my in my local uh, local bass environment and now I can type your command. So now when you do your command, you will see in your business application studio a new template called Anubhav Basic Fury here. You can press enter and I'd ask you a couple of questions. So let me right now go ahead and say enter. Anubhav Fury app is going to be generated. So now you can see you've got an Anubhav Fury app here. And now I can just quickly test its very simple application with a fruit, fruit store. So I can just do the preview here for my Fury application. And it's a very simple Fury application with fruit store in the, the list of uh, you know demo data which is currently in there. Uh, so now imagine this is your actual project and you wanted to move it to GitHub. So in a empty repository right now we don't have anything. So let's go ahead and run these commands step by step. So git init command. It is going to initialize your GitHub local repository in the project. So for that you need to first move to the Anubhav Fury, the project itself. And now I'm inside the project directory where I run the git init command, which is going to initialize a empty git repository. Now, once this is done in step two, we are going to add all our files to the local repository for committing. And I say git add space dot, which is what then going to uh, add all my local files into the local git repository for staging. And then finally we perform a commit. So let's perform the commit command. And that has now committed all my files, which I have in my local repository uh, to my GitHub local repository. Now, still, if you refresh your GitHub account, you would not see the file because they are 
currently locally committed. Now, as a next step, we are going to create a remote set. So now we are setting what is going to be my remote repository. So let's do that. Done. And finally, we perform the git push command. So let's perform the git push enter. And this now asks my account details for GitHub account. So let me pass that. And once it is done, it has now moved all my local locally committed changes to GitHub account. So let's go back and refresh here. And there you go. You can see I have got my project created on the GitHub account and it's now persisting on my GitHub account. So that's the end in a short video how we can work with Business Application Studio. Of course, you also have the GitHub staging tool here, Source Control Git, which is more of a graphical way of doing stuff. But this is, I find, is the most suitable and easiest way to initialize your GitHub repository using Business Application Studio. And now we are ready and we can use this in a different workspace or also the VS Code. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video soon. Thank you and goodbye.